Victor and I have been driving my 2014 Cadillac ELR for six years now, and I have enjoyed saving money by driving around the city on electricity. Now, the reason, the biggest reason I purchased the ELR was because I was very pleased with my Chevy Volt that I buy, but I did not offer, but it did not offer the legroom I wanted while driving on the highway. I wanted more legroom in the cabin, but didn't, I did not want to go back to driving on gasoline all the time either. Then a couple of years later, I heard about the ELRs, and that seemed to be Cadillac's implementation of the Volt technology. After all, they're both GM products. The ELR has the equivalent efficiency of the Chevy Volt and provided more legroom in a comfortable seat and cabin. So I purchased an ELR despite the price. Now early in 2021, early in 2021, the ELR developed problems with the center touchscreen and with the driver's side pressure pad for, for used for entering the vehicle. Now I typically like to be able to see my efficiency at a glance, as you see it right now on the center console. That's that's the typical information that I have showing on my center console. So I can see what my lifetime average MPG is. Now, early in 2021, the bottom of the touch screen, flow, charging, and info icons that you see on the bottom of the screen became unreliable. But I wasn't concerned about that because the energy uses that I like to see in the lifetime MPG continue to update on the screen, as you see it here. One day, a situation arose that I needed to go to the home screen that you see here. The ELR center screen is now totally unresponsive. No matter what I press, I'm unable to view any information on the center screen. Now, the electronics in any vehicle should last longer than six years. The door opener on the driver's side is now long, no longer 100% reliable. And I purchased my first Cadillac in 1985. It was an Eldorado, and that car was similar to the ELR. Comfortable, but had unreliable interfaces, mechanical and electrical. As a result of my experience with these two cars, I'm of the opinion that Cadillac does not pay enough attention to the quality of the components that go into the vehicle. They are instead overly concerned with the appearance of the car rather than the high quality control of components that make up the car. Thank you for watching.